hi i'm annie stores welcome back to another video today's video is something a little bit different for my channel because i've never done this before but i asked over on my instagram what kind of uh, vlogs people wanted to see for the upcoming disneyland paris vlog series and i was asked quite a bit for a pack with me video like i say i've never done one of these before because my method of packing is a little bit chaotic as in like all the stuff behind me is stuff that does need to be packed i'm trying to think about like outfits and things we need and i usually do the packing for everyone so it's a lot to consider so if you're excited about the upcoming Disneyland Paris vlog series, then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified about all of the upcoming vlogs. Let's jump in. So let me just show you what we're working with. So this is our big case. It's one of our big trip cases, which we absolutely love. We have them in blue, pink, and yellow, and I think we'll go for the blue this time. Now we, are only going over a long weekend and I wondered if I could manage without the big case and just with hand luggage and I don't know if this is an age thing but in my 20s I could absolutely have gone with just hand luggage and what I'm thinking about here is the liquid restrictions when flying now that's just because a small toothpaste toothbrush maybe a little bit of moisturizer that kind of thing and I would have been good to go whereas now in my mid 30s i can't travel light anymore <laughs> i use a lot of different creams and face washes and moisturizers and cleansers and stuff for all different bits and bobs and i know it sounds a bit extra but i actually don't think i can be without that for a long weekend especially because my skin at the minute is not really behaving so we added on the big case. We're flying with Air France. It wasn't too much to add on, I think like 50 quid in total. We'll take that just purely to facilitate all of my skincare needs. And actually it's helpful because we can take some drinks and stuff for Oscar. We are also going to take three little hand luggage bags as well because we do find that when we're in Disney, we kind of tend to pick up a lot. So we're not gonna be worried for space or anything. So that's what we've got to pack with. But yeah, let me show you everything else. So starting to think about outfits, um, if you've watched last week's video, then you will have seen the what we've bought for Disneyland Paris, which a lot of it is kind of like on here, the bed at the minute, and it still needs kind of whittling down. But I'm thinking about like a jumper. I'm thinking this one because it will go with the floral of this skirt. Now, it's very Lizzie McGuire, but I am gonna be an outfit repeater. You'll have seen some of these outfits on the cruise, but they're just lovely and I just really want to wear them again. So I'm thinking this floral skirt, which I absolutely love. I got this from one of the fashion boutiques at Disneyland Paris and everybody comments on this and I just absolutely love it. It's so easy to wear. And then this Mad Hatter print skirt, which I bought from Lottie Bounds recently, which goes with the Mad Hatter ears. I absolutely love that. The Small World ears are from the Minnie Mouse main attraction collection because what I realised is I don't really have anything floral, like to go with this skirt, but those are kind of florally. And I think some of the colours go, so maybe that. But then I also love these sequin bow ears as well but that's more suited to the like black and white outfit I wore at animators palette so maybe that one I don't know and then I've got Pete's ears there he's got his Mickey hand ears which he absolutely loves Oscar was very kindly pixie dusted this Chewbacca ear set when we were on the cruise which I thought could go really nicely with this Star Wars baby Yoda t-shirt as like a little Star Wars bound but then he's also got his Captain America and his Iron Man costume and his Marvel t-shirt here. We've also picked up these COVID tests to take with us while we're out there. So this was from C19. As it stands at the moment, it is only Pete and I that need to test whilst we're there. But please check uh, gov.uk and the French government website because obviously the rules are so likely to change and are so frequently changing, so don't take my word for it. Then we've got our lanyards and things 
to take and our face masks now I think I will pack these rather than put them in hand luggage because when we're on our flight you do need to wear a proper surgical mask rather than a cloth face mask so I think those will be packed my makeup bag which obviously needs stuff in it and then a whole raft of documentation so we've got our passports our Revolut card that we always take our e-hit cards which are still valid um, this is our like sworn declaration for entering France that we need to fill out we can't do the passenger locator form until uh, I think 48 hours ahead so we can't do that in advance and then I've got my um, proof of disability because we do get the green pass when we're in Disneyland Paris which I'll talk about while we're there but I don't have some of the documentation that they do accept like PIP or a blue badge so ulcerative colitis isn't covered by blue badge and I don't claim PIP so what I need to do is I've got here a letter from my consultant and also take it with my disability ID card uh, just to show evidence of the disability I think there's always a lot of questions about the green and the orange pass so hopefully I can shed a bit of light on that so that's a lot of stuff that's not even everything need underwear for us all socks extras that kind of thing pajamas clothes for Pete I mean I don't pack his clothes he, he'll do that but there's a lot to consider here so maybe I will get out the packing cubes and then can try and like arrange stuff so be right back so I've just got the first cube packed, which is Oscar's costumes and some the t-shirts that I just showed you. I'll put some pants in and he's got his underwear. And then I've just kept these bits out because normally when we travel, we kind of, when we've got like three big cases or two, whatever, we split our clothes across them, just knock wood, but just in case something happens. Obviously, we're not going to be able to do that. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stick some stuff in hand luggage so that we're not completely stuck should the worst happen. And another thing to mention which is really important is all of our medication. So I'm going to take enough again not just to cover us for the three days that we're out there but just in case. Now Oscar's, his comes in tablet form but he can't take tablets so we've got this grinder where we grind it up and mix it with some liquids that he can then take via a syringe he has to do that three times a day. He's got intracranial hypertension, so that helps with that. We've never, like when we were on the Disney cruise, that was the first time we've been away when he's had to take this medication. And that was really easy because we could go back to the room and do it. Obviously with the parks, we're normally out all day. So I think we're just gonna have to take this with us and try and figure out how we can do that where we're kind of out. But what I'm gonna do is put it in this um, clear bag, all of our medication, so that we can declare that at security because that will go in hand luggage because again I don't want to be separated from that. Kind of proving how chaotic my packing is because I keep running between rooms and finding new things that I need to consider. So here is our digital luggage scales. We don't go anywhere without those obviously because of luggage allowance. We want to make sure that what we're bringing back is within that. And then these things we picked up years ago right and they have done us through so many trips. So these are just portable travel hangers so this is it folded up this is it folded out now I always find that you never get enough hangers wherever you go so we always take some of those with us and it just means then that we're not having to have things folded they can be hung up and let like creases drop out and stuff I think these were really cheap from somewhere like B&M or Home Bargains but if you see them get yourself some because they're very handy snack packs are done so they all just need a drink popping in closer to the time and then I also thought I should probably pack this so I've been looking at the weather forecast and it's got the potential for thunderstorms unfortunately so I thought Oscar's Rain Mac which is Cheshire Cat which Oscar calls Treasure Cat and always has since he was like three he just loves it and at Disneyland Paris you've got the Cheshire Cat maze and he calls it Treasure Cat maze it's so cute so this actually folds up really handily into this bag at the back so it zips in and it's got a cute little tail here this was from the disney store like years ago but we bought it in a giant size um, because that was all that they had but oscar didn't want to be parted from it so what size actually is it 
seven to eight and it still fits in now so we'll get that packed and some rain max for pete and i as well and this is the rain mac all rolled up how cute is that and it's got a little cute handle and i think it was about 20 30 pounds something like that and like i say he's had it for years so super handy right the bed is clear now so i think i'm going to call it a day on that for now there's obviously so much like last bits that you can't actually pack until like closer to the time when i come back to do part two i obviously will bring you with me so you can see i've actually got it done and there was kind of method to the madness so um, i'll see you in a few days three days later right we are a few days later now and things look a little bit more organized so here we've got all the snack packs done with the bottled drinks in i've got my hair dry there because i'm not going to need it now for the rest of the week before we travel Clothes, still need to pack some last bits, but that's kind of like the majority done. Toiletries, I don't know if anyone else finds this, but unless you've got dupes of everything, you can't really pack that until the last minute, so that's just going to have to stay. Ears, and we've got some spare shoes. The forecast is up and down, up and down, up and down. So it could be raining, could be sunny, and there's nothing worse than wet shoes in Disney. So we've just got some spares. This one is going to be my travel bag, so I'm going to leave that out with all my important stuff in. And then I've got my lounge slide to go with my Mad Hatter outfit, masks and things. So these are things that is going to be in hand luggage, but we don't really need to touch. And then that last one over there is kind of like the last bits to go. So we've got some spare clothes on in this packing cube, not wood, but just in case. Our medication, I'll put my work laptop in so anything that needs to come out from security, we know is in that blue case. And then I've got my clothes up here that I'm planning to pack, my outfits. I'm debating the black and white one as well, so we'll see, but these things crease dead easily, so I'm just not gonna do that until the last minute. And then, debatable whether we'll actually need that extra case. So getting somewhere now, but like I say, I think not really too much more I can do now until the night before. So we have had a bit of a nightmare today. So it's just the day before and we realised that we have not seen our travel adapters since the cruise. And we packed both the EU and the US ones because on the cruise they take both no idea where we've put them we have everything organized as in we've got like specific travel drawers where we put stuff in and we always unpack when we get back from a trip we don't leave it no idea where they've gone to i'm debating whether or not we actually pick them up because it, i just can't see where we would have moved them to so mad dash today travel adapters but that's pretty much it so i just wanted to show you two final things that i thought were really useful that i haven't spoken about so the first is what we affectionately refer to as chub rub and um, this is actually a friction defense and i think it is actually for like runners and stuff but we find that this works a treat when you are walking around a park all day whether it's hot or cold regardless like this put it on your inner thighs like maybe on your inner arms like wherever you think there's a bit of friction use this because it really really does the job and then the final thing these are not cool in any way shape or form but for oscar and i they're like holders for our glasses so when we're on rides we just attach them to the ears of our glasses and yes they loop around the head ever so cool and stylish of course but you know we need our glasses to see and we don't want to take them off for rides obviously because then we can't see on the ride so these are a must and i'd forgotten about these so that is us pretty much done like i say just got to pack some very very last minute bits and i'm trying to hold off on my skirts as late as i can just to kind of avoid the creasing but we're there now i think so feeling excited we've done more lateral flow tests and fingers crossed everything's looking good i think we'll be on our way so here's hoping anyway apologies if this has just been a bit crazy like like i say i think I don't do packing very well, I don't think. It's kind of a keep forgetting, use lists. I write things down so that if something springs to mind, I write it down if like if I can't pack it straight away for whatever reason. Write it down and then come back to it later. And that way I kind of guarantee, hopefully, that I don't forget anything. 
So I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially for the upcoming Disneyland Paris park vlogs that we're so excited to share with you. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.